classroom me and my niggas we ready to start teaching uh -huh. in the lesson today you get shot in your face you don't chill with all of that reach stop you said it is smoke with gelatin of smoke you can get sent to the air yo man what's good it's your boy good right man back with another video man yeah make sure y'all like this video comment subscribe and turn on post notifications yeah man this is five common mistakes that ruin your dreadlocks bro the first thing i got on this list bro is washing your hair too often you know what i'm saying this is the most common mistake ever because people think washing their hair a lot is like healthy like they actually like think it's like really cleaning their hair like it's really doing their hair some good and it's really just hurting your head you know what i'm saying the, the whole time the more you're doing that the more you're stripping your natural oils from your head and washing your hair that much is gonna make your hair like thin it's gonna thin in your hair your dreads is gonna become real thin and then after you come like really thin you know what i'm saying your dreads is gonna fall off so yeah man just don't wash your dreads too often you know what i'm saying just have a like a set schedule to how you wash your hair like I say wash your hair every two months is probably like the best for anybody. Wash your hair every two months. Cause some people don't like to go too long without washing, hair, washing their hair, but I say every two months is fine. Especially when you're doing dreads. The second mistake, bro, is not moisturizing enough. Yes, dreads need to be dry to, you know what I'm saying? Be dreads, you know what I'm saying? But you still have to moisturize your hair cause your hair can like break off, you know what I'm saying? So your hair still need moisturizer. I'm not saying moisturize it every day, don't moisturize your hair every day. I say max is probably like moisturize your dreads once a week because your hair, your dreads don't need that much moisture, you know what I'm saying? So, because they dreads. But yeah, moisturize your dreads once a week, fine. Third mistake, bro, is bleaching your hair by yourself. Of course, like it's instructions on how to bleach your hair, you know what I'm saying? But still you may not do something right you know what i'm saying and it could like mess up your hair or, like you can't see like a certain spot in the back of your head and you think you got all the stuff out your head and you accidentally left it in the back and then now that spot of your head is like like really damaged and you gonna have to cut your hair and stuff like that's why i say just like go to an actual professional when y'all like dyeing your hair if y'all actually want to dye your hair i don't I don't think I should dye our hair, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's gonna make your hair weaker and make, and especially when you get dreads, it's, it's gonna make your dreads like fall out like over time, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna make your dreads thinner over time. So I say, if you do that, just go to a professional cause they actually know what they are doing, you know what I'm saying? And you know your hair not gonna get permanently, permanently damaged, you know what I'm saying? Cause a professional doing your hair. The fourth common mistake, bro, is over maintenance, bro. What I mean by that is like twisting your hair too much. Like just like say like little things, like literally fiddling, fiddling with your hair like all day. Like you can't do that. Like that's gonna cause too much stress on your scalp and your your hair is gonna get more thin. Like your hair is gonna thin, like a thin a lot. And so you know what I'm saying? So you just can't be twisting your hair too much and like getting retwist too often, cause that's gonna cause your head to like fall out like literally like it's gonna be too much too much stress on your scalp the fifth and last bro is too much product bro can suffocate your hair from the inside out bro meaning bro it's gonna be suffocating your hair and your hair cannot have it don't have like no time to breathe you know what i'm saying and all that stuff caked up bro it's not gonna have no no time to get no air you know what i'm saying no airflow you know what i'm saying so it's gonna be no blood for like coming right there and then that's gonna cause your head to thin and it's not gonna grow like your head is not gonna grow but if you have too much build up too much product in your head like your head is not gonna grow bro. it's gonna sit there and like and that could cause a lot of mold in your hair like mold and mildew in your hair you know what i'm saying so don't use a lot of product bro don't use uh hair wax i looked i looked this up i was researching like what really to like not use your hair don't use hair wax to style your dress bro because that could like really be like it's hard they said it's hard to get out you know what i'm saying so i wouldn't advise that you know what i'm saying because they said literally a lot of dirt and mildew can get stuck in there you know what i'm saying so it's like really hard to get out you know what i'm saying so I just advise you don't use hair wax. But yeah, man, that was the end of this video, bro. I hope this helps some of y'all out. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all like this video, comment, subscribe. I'm up, man.